if you want your lawn to look like this, but it looks like this, well, the first thing you probably want to do is to get a soil test to figure out why the grass isn't growing the way that you want it to be. Now, taking a soil test is really quite simple. For the best way, though, we're going to consult with Todd Harrington. He's one of the founders of Sustainable Growth Incorporated, a group of franchise owners who are committed to lawn care, landscaping, and agriculture organically. We want to talk about the importance of taking a soil sample. The first thing you need is something to put your soil in. I happen to have a, a bag here that's actually lined with plastic. And so this is very important, especially if your soil is a little wet so it doesn't actually drip out of the bag. But any plastic bag will work. What's really important to note is that you want to make sure that you don't seal the bag because if you do, you might change the chemistry of the soil test. So why don't we take a look at some soil and take some samples. The first thing we need when taking soil samples is some type of a tool to take the soil with. Today I have two different tools to take some soil with. We have a basic shovel, which most people have access to, and then we have what's called a soil probe, which many professionals carry. And the reason they carry this soil probe is so they can actually do a, a soil profile and take a look at the soil. So why don't we start with the soil probe here. So I'm going to dig down and see how I go. Wow, that's great. So here I have what's called a soil profile. And at the top, a lot of times you'll have a lot of thatch, but this obviously has no thatch because it's, treated, it's being treated organically. And then you can actually see the root hairs coming out of the bottom of the soil. That's fantastic, look at that. So that's a good almost 10 inches of roots. That's what you want to see with a good organic lawn. So why don't we take another sample with a shovel. I'm gonna dig down a little bit here and see what we get for soil. What's really important to note when taking soil samples is that you only need probably about three to six inches deep of this soil and you only need about a third to a half a cup of soil. Another important thing to note is you want to take several samples throughout the whole property so you get a good representation when that soil test is done. So I'm going to take my bag over here and we're going to take our first sample. All you need to do is peel off a little bit. And this is beautiful soil. This is a nice sandy loam. You can actually see all the fibrous roots here. So we know it's a healthy soil. It even smells good. And that's what you want to have is good, healthy soil. So there's my first sample. And we want, all we need is probably about a half a cup and we'll be good. As I make my way around the property, it's really important to note that if the soil looks different than the one that you just took earlier, you might want to take a second test because it could be actually very different with its chemistry. So I'm going to take another sample here and see what it looks like. Oh, this is beautiful soil. As you can see, we have a lot of earthworms and a lot of root hairs. So I'm just going to take a small handful of this soil and put it in the bag with our other samples. And we'll want to cover it up so no one knows we were even here. Okay, let's bring it to the lab. When you get the results of those soil tests back, you're still going to need to know what they mean. We're going to cover that in a future Safe Lawn segment. The important thing for today is to get started because it can take several weeks until you get the results back. Put that shovel in the soil now. <laughs> 